Did you know Psalm 37, 4 says, If you delight yourself in the Lord, He'll give you the desires of your heart. The Lord made this real to me when I was a teenager. I was 16 when my parents divorced. My dad remarried right away. My mother became so depressed and suicidal. She married the first person she could find, and he was suicidal. So a week after her marriage with him, this man committed suicide in our house. And then because of all the emotional strain, I became having an eating disorder. And I was just a mess. And I remember getting on my face in my bedroom, laying on my face before God and crying, God, please help me. I'm a mess. I don't know what to do. I feel like my life is just, I'm just afraid of everything and it's just a mess. And I'm telling you, God came in that room. He knelt down beside me and he comforted me and he became my best friend, my closest friend. And he showed me that if I delighted in him, he would give me the very desires of my heart. So I began to ask him for things. I said, Lord, I want to go to Bible school. I would really like to go to a certain Bible school, but it looked impossible to me. And so some miraculous way, the Lord set up the circumstances and got me through that two-year Bible school. He had people send money through the mail. People knocked on the door and handed us money. He sent my sister along to help me. And the Lord helped me graduate from this Bible school. And then the next thing I desired from him was a husband. But I didn't know how to choose a husband, and my parents had been divorced, so I was almost afraid to be married. But the Lord answered my heart's desire and gave me the best husband I ever could have asked for. And I didn't even have to go find him. God brought him to me. And he was everything I wanted in a husband plus more. So that's how you know it was from God. But years later, I, we wanted to have children. And years were going by and no children. And so we began to seek God about it. I went to the Bible and I looked up all the scriptures that where you, God promised to give children to us. He said in Exodus that none shall be barren. None. And then he had, there's other scriptures where he says he will bless the fruit of your womb. And he said he's going to make your quiver full of children. And he's the one who settles the barren woman in her home as a happy mother of children. So I, I looked at these scriptures and encouraged myself through them. And I said, okay, God says that we will have children. It's right there in his word. But years went by. And really, my faith was tested. Is God's word true or is it not true? Did he lie? <laughs> Can you depend on God's word? Is he faithful or not? Fifteen years went by. I'm telling you, that was a test of faith. But one day, I heard a message from a preacher that I, when I heard that message, I knew that I knew once and for all, I was going to have children. Two weeks later, we were at a, a ministry conference, and this evangelist said, I want to pray for married couples that want to have children. So we, my husband and I went up and received prayer. Nine months to the day our daughter was born. What a miracle. Perfectly healthy and a blessing to us. And it made us so glad that we did not give up. So I'm going to give you those scriptures if you are wanting to have children and show you in the Bible all the promises that God gives you that you can have the desire of your heart. <music>